Hi, I'm Jinhua, coming to you from Beautiful Soul. In this video, we will introduce a concept of fast dance feature extraction, which is a fast way to extract visual features for many patches from an image. If you're dealing with dance patched based representations, this technique is quite useful. Let's just see the definition of problems. For some reason, you may want to extract visual features for a small box region in an image where the box is called patch. Here, CNN takes an image of the small patch, then outputs the corresponding one by one visual feature, where the receptive field size of CNN is the same with the size of patch. If the feature extractor consists of regular convolution layers, you can put the whole images as an input to the network and take the output as n minus k plus 1 by n minus k plus 1 features if you do not use padding for the input. However, if you use more than one striding in the CNN, the problem is complicated by this, and this is the reason why I made this video. Here is the example. Let's assume that there is two layers of network with one dimensional convolution followed by max pooling. The convolution layer has the column size of 3 and the stride of 2, while max pooling is for every two elements with the stride of 2. For the first output element, the receptive field over the input space is the first five elements. For the second output element, with gray, the receptive field over the input space is the last five elements. If we consider every one-dimensional patches with the length of five, this naive wording only covers the two of five patches. This is because striding in the consecutive layers prevents to extract dense features for sliding input patches. Then, the question is that, how can we extract all features for the patches with a similar draw foot? The main idea to prevent information loss from striding is simply multi-time forwarding by shifting an input tensor while the shifted output tensors are stacked in the batch dimension for the next layer. Since the batch dimension is safe for the consecutive striding layers, we can get the dense features, though we need to recover the special information that which feature is belong to which patch in an input image. The figure illustrates how the shifted outputs in the batch dimension is recovered. The left shows the stacked shifted outputs and the right shows the desired output. The blue is non-shifted output, while the others are shifted one pixel, left, bottom, or both. This can be done a couple of tensor transpose operations like a Rubik's cube. We will see how it works in PyTorch code. We will propose a wrapper module, Mold2D, and Unfold2D for reshaping the dilated tensor in PyTorch. We predefined the amount of shift for the stride of 2 here, but we may want to generalize it further with arbitrary striding later. For this example, we expect the injected module has the stride of 2 and the column size of 3. There may be many ways to do, but here we use padding to shape the input tensor. Then we crop the outputs for the same sizes. This might be changed appropriately for the different column size of module. Then we stack the outputs of the same sizes in the batch dimensions for the next layer. This module performs unfolding for the stacked output tensors. The first step is unstack the multipass tensors using view. 
This line moves the original batch dimensions to the front, the first dimension. Next is to rearrange the shifting dimensions R1 and C1 to the right order to reshape. This is all. Honestly, I'm a bit embarrassing not to generalize this further. Please share your better code with me. This is an overview that how it works. The left shows the two layer networks that each layer has the stride of two. So, knife forwarding cannot guarantee the dense feature extraction. Using the multifast wrapper, we can convert it to the fast dense feature extractor by the wrapper and unpooling layers. Since it has two striding layers, we have to unfool two times for the specially corrected output. I know this whole idea is hard to understand at first. I remember that I myself also struggled to understand this in many hours. Here, some our speculations. This fast dense extractor does not use interpolating as in many other encoders. It just forwards multiple times and rearranges efficiently. For that reason, it will cost more computing time and space for the dense feature extraction of patches. This fact may lead to be used in unsupervised anomaly detection tasks for fine-grained features. So, we can express like this, excessive exploitation of translation invariance in striding layers. That's all. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you like it. See you again.